Andre Terleski. I was, uh, I live in Sacramento, California. I'm 37 years old. I was born in Connecticut. I had a pretty uh, happy childhood, I guess. When I was uh, in uh, grammar school or whatever, they thought I was uh, pretty intelligent. They kind of put me in the gifted classes and everything, even though I wasn't like one of the typical rich kids. Well, I uh, met him. I guess I was seven. Or he was seven. I was five or six. And my aunt uh, married his brother. And we met very, very young. His toys were like the kind that you put together and build. I never kind of I was a smart kid, I guess. He was your typical little boy. I think I wanted to be an airplane pilot or something when I was eight years old. For high school I um, went to a, a vocational trade school and studied auto mechanics, which I never did anything with. I moved out here in 1992 when I was 19. I originally lived in Woodland. In the process of living in Woodland I started uh, traveling to Sacramento by various means, uh, buses, trains, hitchhiking. I kind of ended up here in 1994 and this is pretty much where I have been. I've been friends with Ray since late 1995. Just he's always a really, you know, very intelligent guy, and um, he's helped me out more than, you know, a few times with oh different mechanical things or electronic issues. In 1995, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. My case has been pretty um, serious. Crohn's disease is basically a disease that affects the uh, intestines, where they kind of see food as poison and try to get rid of it as fast as they can. And, um, it's an autoimmune disorder uh, where your immune system is kind of in overdrive and as far as food can, gets concerned. And, it causes like things like ulceration in the uh, intestines and causes you to get really skinny and not like to eat. Depression, missing out on social activities, absence from work or school, surgery and hospitalizations are all realities for someone living with this disease. And while it can occur at any age, most people are diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 35. Dr. Des Ledden specializes in the treatment of Crohn's disease. The spectrum of Crohn's disease varies from people who might have one attack and never have another one to the other end of the spectrum would be people who get an attack of Crohn's and it never stops. The majority of people live well with Crohn's but a significant minority life can be pretty difficult. You know and Ray had major, he's had a couple of pretty good procedures, operations and surgeries and um, of varying sorts and you know when my when my mom got involved he, before my mom got involved he was at he kept being seen by the county at, over at UC Davis. Why Medi-Cal now? It, it, it's not I mean it's not perfect but it's a lot better than having nothing and you know having to go into UC Davis and deal with the county medical indigent. You know I think I think on some levels UC Davis is a really good hospital, but I think on other levels they're just the absolute bare minimum because they are the county hospital where they send all the Poe people. I've known Ray for I want to say about 15 years. You know, I, I understand the procedures he's gone through. I wish somehow they would have taken care of what was going on with him a lot earlier. Yes, he's had to suffer all kinds of craziness. I, I don't know all the logistics to raise problems. I know Crohn's disease. I've seen it in the hospital. I've seen it in the clinic with people who have more health care. These are like general sons. You know, they have the best health care, and Ray never has really had that. You, you see these, these issues with our health care and what they should be doing and what they're not doing you know, and why these people with these serious diseases aren't getting the care that they need. You know, it's hard sometimes when he has to go through the things he has to go through because of the Crohn's. Um, it, it's it's gut-wrenching, you know, and especially with the sad state of healthcare, 
in this country as well as just in the state period. But going through what he has to go through, it can, it can wear on a person for sure. I mean, he's definitely a stronger man than I. What are the differences? More the stage name. I guess I know the, the down to earth Ray because I see everything behind the scenes. Brother Ray is kind of my stage persona. Like right now I'm basically Ray. Her Ray is nice. Ray, Ray, Ray likes to help his common man, but the problem is that Ray will get tricked. Ray will give you his last dollar sometimes, and, you know. But Brother Ray will come out and get it back. Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker, bad motherfucker. First met Brother Ray, the persona, the person, uh, the persona of Brother Ray. I met him, I met him first, then I got to learn Ray. The difference between Ray and Brother Ray is the difference between this shirt and this shirt. <laughs> Brother Ray is the night guy who comes out after he's had a few too many to drink. Brother Ray usually comes out sometime yeah. after sunset, but uh. He's saying hi right now. He's super charismatic and with, you know, women, he's, he's Ray. It's funny because Brother Ray is the dirty, nasty, you know, little, little man that, that everybody just kind of, yeah. yeah. you just want to hear the next outrageous thing that comes out of his mouth. Where do little Brother Rays come from? From evil, evil, evil women. Evil, evil, crazy women. That almost brings me back to a story I want to tell about an evil, evil, crazy woman who gave Brother Ray his name. Yeah, uh, he, he's got like, I don't know, hundreds of ties and maybe a hundred pairs of shoes and suits that fill up the whole. I mean, they're all like, you know. He hangs them up real nice, and he's got a bunch of them. So. But I've seen him around town. Yeah, we've always seen him around town. Before I met him personally, you know, in his nice suits that he wears, and, you know, can't miss him, you know? He's a pretty cool cat. You know, I haven't met very many people like him. He definitely dressed well. He he, he, he's got nice clothes, you know? So Ray likes to dress like a pimp. I mean, I don't know how else to describe that. He always wants to have... There's an element of Frank Sinatra and an element of Dolomite. All kind of wrapped into one. When he's in those suits, man, he is pimp fly, brother Ray. I mean, 100%, and everybody digs it. I would have to say, a handsome guy. <laughs> he's cool, he's calm, he's collected. Three words to describe Ray. Uh, uh, brilliant, cranky, curmudgeon. If I had three words to describe Ray, it would be uh, extravagant, walking, and well dressed. Three words to describe Ray over the top. Salty old man. If I had to describe Ray in three words, dude's got style. Smart ass, stubborn, witty. Hot. I mean, I'll stop there. Well, give me three. <laughs> Good, dirty, truthful. Independent, rebel, and eventual legend. That's four words. 